Welcome, alchemists, back to the Akoraverse. Here we have a tranquil little land called Akora, where alchemists work side by side with little creatures called Akora, which they have tamed and trained for both battles and companionship. In today's video, we will introduce eight of our types of Akora in this realm. We will start off with nature, electric, water, ice, fire, dark, spirit, and divine. May you tame one of these Akora, set out on your journey, and battle to become the greatest alchemist and join the ranks of the guild. What's going on everybody? It's Stitch of War here on YouTube and Stitch of Games on Instagram and Stitch of Games on Twitch for our streaming. Welcome back everybody. We received some more product from our good friend over at e and Warehouse. So he got these and then uh, he threw in a little bit of a surprise. For those of you who were not in stream when he tossed it out to me, actually funny enough, I wasn't entirely on stream as well. I was at work and some stuff came up. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll actually we'll crack open this first one. We got two products in this box. So let us see. We had asked we had asked our good friend Eli if he could keep his eyes out for some shards because we were looking to build our spirit deck. But well, first things first, we will crack open one of our packs. See, Stitch of Games on Whatnot. We won an auction. Actually, quite a few auctions, so we have a lot of product coming. But, uh, so if we got Old Man's Greed, we got Takina's Tome. Now, when it's, now, when it specifically lists an Akora on the card, that means that it will be specific to that type of Akora and the deck you will be running the Akora in. Now, one thing that I want everybody to know and keep in mind is that you can, as of right now, you can only have one type of Akora. You can only have the Kagis. You can only have the Dragon. But, um, but we'll get into that more in our next video. But essentially, you have theme-specific cards. These cards work specifically with the particular Akora that you have that will be leading the charge in the deck that you build. We got Beast Hunting, we got Waterfall, we got Kabu. Look at how cute that little fox is. We got ourselves another Zero, a card called Cleansing Light. We got Zeiss Furo. We got Changing Religion. We got Magna Furo, which is actually the stage three of, of Furo itself. Justice for Kuzu, we shout that out a lot on the Discord. Washa Shore, Poisonous Mushroom, Toketsu. Token Goodbye, Darkness Within, Zeiss Tekina, which is actually funny, we were just talking about that. Then we have Spirit Plane, we got Relic Shard, Token Veil, Citadel's Guard, Burned uh, burned Book, Electric Touch, Frost Fangs, Soul Catcher, Downpour, Heat Sauce, Hot Sauce, <laughs> my bad, All Sting Eye, Equivalence, Seraph Zero, Spirit Bomb, Senko, Sulky, Traveler's Trap, we got Kabu, Darkness Within, Mokuhiko, Toketsu, Rousing Dragon, Spirit. Yeah, we got a, we got Spirit Token Doki. And then this is one of the hollows that we pulled. Look at how beautiful that is. Divination Sphere. Alright, let's see. What is in this little pack right here? What do we got? Oh, yes. This was some more from different. Oh, look at how pretty that Beast Within is. It looks almost like the it looks almost like the moon is popping out at you. That is so gorgeous. Wow. That is beautiful. Shout outs again to Eli over at ENA Warehouse. He's located up in up in uh, New Hampshire. But you guys can follow him on whatnot at E A N D A and then Warehouse. W A R E H O U S E. And that is on Whatnot. Follow him. He does a lot of Accor stream streams quite often. And has some really cool giveaways. We pull some pretty cool cards. We got Anti Alchemy. We got Last Sleep. We got Cleansing Light. Extinguishing Anguish. Wow, that's a tongue twister right there. Trident of Retribution and Kojima Sulky. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll open up another one of our packages. Uh, can we? Normally he makes it easier to open up. Come on. I got you. We'll get this. Come on. Oh, thunder. 
Holy cow, I forgot how much product we get from him. <laughs> we, got a, we got a good little stack right here. Let's go ahead and get the small one first. Alrighty, so we got a we got crossroad deal. This is for the dark deck. Now this little now these little uh, the little rainbow up in the corners, these are what are called multi attributes. These cards can be run in any one of your Acora decks. Doesn't matter doesn't matter what theme you you're running with. Whether you're running with the green, which is nature, the yellow, which is electric, the blue, which is water or dark blue, and then. You know, you got the ice, you got fire, dark, spirit, and divine. Each one of them, it'll show, it'll show up in the top right corner on the al on the alchemy cards. It'll show, okay, this is the dark symbol, this is multi, this here's electric. You can usually tell by the borders as well. Obviously, you've got fire, which is going to be right down here. You've got ice, which is the sh snowflake. Then you got the little water. And of course, this here, that's fire attribute, and then... This little all-seeing eye inside of the pyramid is the spirit. And then, oh, check that out, Kyojin Akoreth. That's such a cool looking card. Even the non-holo is really, oh, excuse me, is really cool looking. Let's nice, go ahead and, uh, this here, we got a nice little stack of them. Ah, we got more spirit tokens for our deck. To be honest with you, I watch him as he cracks the packs open, but uh, sometimes he throws us in some bulk to help us out, knowing that we actually play the game. Watch the short bottle of lightning. Goremu, this here is one of the natures. Of course, it is green. Of course, the light blue. This is Toketsu. This is the stage one ice, one of the stage one ice Akoras. Then we have a stage two, which is Unaburu. Then we got Akai Hiko. That thing looks gorgeous in the hollows. Channeling Souls in again. I mean, just check out how cool these cards just pop. How cool is that? You got Senko Can, Shell Shield, Light, Light in the Load, Darkness Within, Zero, Kiko. We got Wolf Cry, Fossil Fuel, Zeiss Fero, Cerise's Encore, Dark Bidding, Downpour, Moku, Thunder Cry, Wounded Wing, Yoki, which, as you can tell, obviously with the wings, that there is a divine. That is a divine attribute. And then we got Takina Spirit. Again, another one. It specifically states Takina in its name, which means you have to have that uh, that Takina Akora in your Akora deck. Arufa Kabu. Check out how cool that fox is. That's the stage three of the adorable little fox. Then we got Holy Judgment. Blows a bunch of stuff up. Oh, look. We got our first Ceriza. That's our very first Ceriza. We got a bunch of Ceriza cards, but uh, no actual Ceriza. Then we got Lil Kabu, and then we got Valley of the Damned, Rite of Passage. And we have a shard right there. Changing the tide, bottle of lava, Saris protection, spirit token Doki, Magna Kage, token gesture, leap of faith, Senko, bottle of lightning, Yumi. Hey, look, we have her in the full art as our promo. Oh yes, we got a we got a Kuzu card. We got Kami Kuzu, <laughs> kind of like Kamikaze. Um, a Citadel's guard, the Abyss, Electric Tachiari, a Korath, Kiko, Yoki, Solar Burst, another Kuzu. Uh, low Tide, Bajiri Shimo, and then this here, this is the non hollow of that card, Beast Within. Still a beautiful card, absolutely, but uh, I prefer the I prefer the hollow much, much better. And we got another one that we're going to open up. Ah, I did not want to do that. Oh, well. Alrighty, everybody, and then we got our last little stack here. All right, let's go and pop this little guy open. Now we got Lost Atlantis. We got Toxic Elixir, Kiko. Hang on. Uh, let me put this one. Yeah, let me put that on the side. Yeah, uh, we got yeah we got Kiko. We got Scorched Earth. We got Light in the Load, Rage Unleashed, Mokuhiko. Oh, cool. Yeah, we got another we got another Mokuhiko. Sweet. Thousand Thunder Senko. Hot Coals. Really good card for the fire deck. Time reversal. This one this one negates. This one negates and it will bounce the alchemy cards to your opponent's hand. Check out that spirit shard. I mean, even non-hollow, these shards look so darn cool. Ceriza's overture, cool. We got some more Ceriza cards. Zera, Yoki, Akoreth, uh, Dokushimo, Reign of Fire. Hey look, it's hot coals, but uh, it's a bunch of his brothers and sisters. Uh, Rosarhiko, and check that out. We actually pulled ourselves a non-hollow sub-zero. 
Still a good card. A lot of people are searching for it. This is from another pack that we got. Kyoto Goremu, Toketsu, Goremu. As you can tell, the this here is the, the third stage. Down here in the lower corner, it tells you what stage these are. So this will be the first one. This guy starts off on the field in the game. So, so real quick, we'll go into the basics. When you start off, when you start off your turn, once everybody's decided that, that, that they like their hands and ready to go, you always have to put an, a, a relic shard up here on the field. If you do not have one in your hand, you take one from the deck and put it out here on the field. You always start off with your with your stage one Akora. That will sit there. Up here will be the relic shard. Every turn, as long as you have a relic shard in your hand, you can put one relic shard down in this zone per turn. When you have enough relic shards, which is going to be in the top left corner, you will be able to go ahead and relic up. Like for the for the stage three, you're gonna have to have six. You're gonna have six relic shards up here in the zone. And then we got the damned, we got Gallo's staff, and then we got another Goremu. This here is one of the cards we got because uh we opened up a pack that wasn't hollow, and Eli over at E and A Warehouse was nice enough to give us this beautiful card. It was randomly picked out of his hollow box. And check that out. Just look at how cool that is. That thing is absolutely beautiful. Now, he threw in a surprise for us, and I haven't even looked at it. So, we're going to crack it open, and you guys all get to see first look. Um, it is in a poster. It's in a poster tube. Interesting. So, let's see here. And I'll pop. All right, let's pull this out very carefully and see what we got. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, is that absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, it's got all of the Accor on there. That is gorgeous. Eli, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate that, man. God, that is absolutely beautiful. We are definitely going to go ahead and frame that as soon as possible. We have the day off tomorrow, and our Hobby Lobby is open, so we'll see if we will be able to get the materials we need in order to make our own. But, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, welcome to the world of... Welcome to the land of Akora. Sorry about that. I had the kids shouting in the background. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. And stay tuned for Sunday. The plan is to go to our local game shop. And we are going to demo and showcase the game. And introduce it to the community. So that will be at 1 o'clock p.m. We will be live streaming here on Stitchy Boy on YouTube. And you guys have a wonderful day. And we'll see you in the next video.